Happy Friday night, everybody. I'm making Maria, your Chuck Couture independent designer. Hello, Chuck and friends. We are going to make a simple, quick, and easy little project this evening. Um, I'm kind of into the welcoming fall, you know, kind of mood. So we are going to make, if I can find you here, hang on a second. I'm no, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. We were watching Pirates of the Caribbean, oh, which is an awesome movie. But of course, it just wasn't quite over when I wanted it to be over. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, everybody. Um, oops, and now my phone is talking to me. Okay. All right, so we are gonna use this fun transfer. It's called Autumn Sayings, and it says, fall is in the air, hello pumpkin, gratitude and gather and gobble. This is a sea size transfer. It has some really fun little sentiments on it. They're really nice size, and they fit really, really well on our Simple Shapes rectangles. So they fit perfectly on here. They're actually designed for these little packs. You get two of them and they're double-sided. So you can actually buy one pack and do all four sentiments and flip them around. Um, we will do it on this soon, but that's not what our goal is for this evening. What our goal is for this evening is this super fun little, I don't know what you call this, toolbox to me is what it's called, is a toolbox. Um, I think this is Michael's tag. I think that's Michael's tag. So they called it a crate. So um, we're gonna go with crate. So it's a really nice size. This has a really nice uh, chalkable area. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick gratitude on it because I think it's gonna fit perfectly. Um, we could do Hello Pumpkin or Fall is in the Air, but I don't have fall things in it. I just have your basic greenery in it. Um, and I think gratitude is kind of more of a year-round saying, so it goes well with the fact that I have, you know, just plain old everyday fake greens in it. So that's what we're going to put in it. Um, but this is just one of my favorite types of surfaces to chalk on. I don't know why, but I do happen to love this particular type of surface. Centerpiece. Stephanie says it's a centerpiece. Thanks, Stephanie. You never really know. Um, I think it's an old-fashioned toolbox because you used to carry your woodworking tools in it. That's what I think, but I'm not really sure. Hello, Miss Amanda. Welcome. All right, so um, love to create on these because it's one of those things where if you put a non-seasonal sentiment on it, it's really easy to pop different things in it. You know, you've got your spring flowers, your summer flowers, your mums in the fall, poinsettias in this, the Christmas holiday season. So it really gives you a nice opportunity to have a super cute little centerpiece, as Miss Stephanie called it. Really cute little centerpiece that you can change up seasonally. So that is what we are going to create on. It's going to take us about two seconds to make this. So we are going to put gratitude on it just so that it really is more uh, evergreen. You can use it all year. So that is my plan. So I'm going to take this, set, this transfer. We're going to open it up. Hello, Miss Terry from Texas. Welcome to our little chocolate party. We were watching Pirates of the Caribbean and it just went a little long, so I apologize for being a few minutes late. It's just been one of those days. We've kind of been on the roll with Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> we do this, did you know that you can rent, not rent, but you can take out DVDs at the library? We, we forget about this and every summer we seem to remember in the summertime. And you can go right to the library and get a DVD. You get to keep it for seven days. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, and I, I want to say it's three or four years ago now. We went through a Pirates of the Caribbean phase where we literally binge watched all of them. Well, for some reason, we decided to uh, resurrect it again this year because none of us remember what happened in any of the movies. Um, so we are re-watching them. Okay, so I'm cutting them out. They're really long. That's the other thing. Love, love the movies, but they're very long. Okay, so we have these fun little transfers. We've got this one that says gratitude. Love the font on this. Um, I like the cursive feet. And it's going to fit 
really nicely on our cute little box. And we're gonna use Dune, not white. Um, what I find with wood stained boards is Dune, which is kind of a creamy color, goes really well. Um, and we are making things, we're still making things for um, a raffle uh, for a friend of mine. So we're still working on this. We delivered the stuff for the first raffle this week and now we've got another raffle coming up in a couple weeks. Excuse me, all of a sudden I'm very warm so I needed a drink. All right, so we're gonna throw gratitude on here. We're gonna do it in Dune. Then we're gonna put our little greenery back in it. We could put a bow on it. I mean, there's just so many fun things that you could do with this thing. It would be super cute full of fake pumpkins. I mean, I just think it's kind of a fun surface and it is so evergreen because again, you just change up what you put in it every season. So, oops, I need to take my transfer and I need to write the name of the transfer on the back. So does anybody else have a group of movies like that? Like you watch them and then a few years later you watch them again, like as a, and you binge watch? <laughs> We've literally watched one a day. Um, they're really long though, that's the only bad thing. But anybody else do that? So we're gonna do gratitude. That's the name of the transfer. And it's a new transfer from this year. So I do write the year on the back of them. Okay, so I'm gonna take my transfer. I'm gonna carefully remove it from its backer sheet. My backer sheet's an important piece of paper. It's like sticker paper. One side, side is shiny. I'm trying to show you the shiny. One side is dull. The shiny side is the side you're going to put this transfer back on when you're all done. You're gonna rinse this with cool water, let it dry, and you're gonna put it back on that backer sheet, and then you can use this over and over and over again. So this one little word of this set, you can make all kinds of fun things with. So we're going to put it on and smooth out my air. I am going to measure, again, just because <laughs> this isn't for me. It's for an auction, or it's not really an auction, it's a benefit. Um, okay, so we are in good shape. We eyeballed it and it's like perfect. Hello, what's Amanda saying? We have never seen the Harry Potter movies and are going to the Harry, po oh, Harry Potter themed wedding. Oh my gosh, how fun would that be? Might have to stop by the library and rent them. Amanda, they're great, great movies if you've not seen the Harry Potter movies. Um, we did binge watch those too earlier in the summer. <laughs> we started with Harry Potter. We started with Harry Potter, then we moved on to some, some oh, Manifest, the TV show. Then we binge watched Manifest, which was really, after the second season though, I gave up. The third season just came out. The kids can watch it without me. It got, it gets a little weird. Um, and now we're doing Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we did something else. We rented a bunch of them. Oh, the Disney movies that, um, you know, where they're not animated. So Aladdin and Mulan, we rent, well, we didn't rent them. We took them out of the library. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, Miss Jessie. Costumes are optional and encouraged. Oh my gosh, Amanda. That would be such a fun wedding to go to. Jessie is saying Harry Potter are good movies and great books. Yes, and I do have to say with the Harry Potter, I, pre I preferred the books over the movies, but I'm a reader. So, and I really wanted my kids to read the books before they watched the movies, and I think that worked with the oldest, and then after that it went to hell in a handbasket. I know, Terry, can you believe I measured? It's because it's not for me, Terry. <laughs> we are making things, let's see, okay, so um, our first benefit that we were making all this stuff for was for our little friend that is sick, and now we are making them for the organization that helps um, women that have um, gotten free of sex trafficking. And um, we've done it. They have an uh, event every year, with the exception of last year. They didn't do it for because of COVID, but we've done stuff for them every year. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my Dune chalk paste and give it a stir. This is literally gonna take us two seconds to make. I'm gonna take my squeegee. This is a small size squeegee. It has an angled side and a flat side. The angled side is the front, so that's the side I'm gonna dip in my chalk paste, like so. So I load it up on one side with chalk paste. That way I don't get my fingers all full of chalk. I hold my squeegee straight up and down, and I literally just scrape it across. That is how easy this is to do. And in two seconds, we're gonna take this really, it was a really cool box all on its own, but we're gonna take it up a notch. 
and you could totally embellish this like crazy you so I'm just smoothing out my lines taking all this excess and I just slide it right back into my container because why waste it save it for next time smooth out my lines take this put it back in and now I started in the corner but I pull from the middle I don't pull from the corner it's fabric so I don't want to stretch it carefully pull it I stick this in my water bath in front of me um, I'm gonna rinse it with cool water not hot water cool water and then when it dries I'm gonna put it back on that backer sheet and it's good to go to be used again I take my squeegee and I wash it off right away and I just use the baby wipe to wash off my squeegee um, you can take it right to a sink and rinse it. You don't need to do a wipe. It's just what I have here. So I set this aside again to use it next time. I take my stir stick and I go around the edges of my chalk paste container. I'm going to push all that chalk off the edges just because, you know, it dries faster if it's on the edge. Or the lip. I take my little stir stick, wipe it down. It's much easier to clean your tools when the chalk paste is wet than when your chalk paste is dry. Put my lid back on my chalk paste container. This is one of the special ones with the purple lid. So for those of you who don't know, um, COVID struck the manufacturer of our lids. <laughs> so normally they're black, but because something with COVID and plastic and they needed to use it for something else, um, there's a limited amount of them that are purple that we designers are looking at. Like, oh my gosh, they're like, if you get one, it's awesome because it's like a collector's item. So this is our super cute little box and now it says gratitude on it. And you could embellish it more. Like if you really wanted to make it seasonal, you could put cute little pumpkins or like our gourd from last night. The oh my gourd, I love fall. Love that. Love that one. You put the gourd from that transfer on here as well. And then I just have these fake little green guys. And this is a big container. So it takes a lot of fake little green guys to fill it up. But again, would be super cute with pumpkins in it, too. And now, you have a great little centerpiece to put anywhere. So, that's all I got. <laughs> you could put a bow. You could totally embellish it. You could do all kinds of fun things to it if you wanted to. Or you could just leave it. But that's what I got. So, um, this particular transfer is called Autumn Sayings. If you want to check it out, you can go right to www.chuckcouture.com slash making Maria, and you can check it out. It also says, gather and gobble, fall is in the air, and hello pumpkin. So it has four sayings. They fit really, really nicely on our uh, simple rectangular shapes. They're called simple shapes. Double-sided, two of them in a pack. Um, and we're going to use these, um, and we're going to put them in a one of those tobacco um, baskets would be really cute as well but I'm gonna paint it um, so that it's not I mean, you could leave it white but I like it when it's dark in the tobacco baskets because it looks really cool so that's what I got I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I hope you have something fun planned Amanda when's your wedding must not be soon if you haven't watched the movies yet um, that would be interesting how are you gonna do a Harry Potter themed wedding I don't know if there's no wedding in the movies that I can think of I never watched all the movies because I give up because again I prefer the books over the movies but I'm digressing and I'm rambling and y'all know what that means it's time for me to say goodnight it's in Racine end of October oh you've got plenty of time then plenty of time there's lots of fun Harry Potter things you can do did you chalk those three books in my background the three books here Jesse the welcome hello and gather these guys yes I did it's a book stack. So I bought, um, I actually found that, like I went to Goodwill to buy books, that they were less expensive at the dollar store. So I went to the dollar store and I bought three books the same size. That's the key is finding three books the same size. I painted the books white. Um, and then there is an, a trio transfer that has those three words on it. It's an A size transfer, so it's a cute little tiny transfer. Um, it's our smallest size transfer, which I happen to have right here because I love the trios. Um, there's a bunch of trios, like there's Home Together and Forever. Of course, I'm going to find everyone but that one. 
there's family, friends, and memories. This one's re very retired. Grateful, harvest, and cozy. And then there's the cheers party, rejoice in Noel. There's some holiday ones. There's a bunch of holiday ones. And then there's the one that's up there, which is the welcome. Welcome, hello, and gather. It's one transfer with three little words on it. It's a really fun transfer, and they're the perfect size. Did you say B size? Transfer or an A? It's an A. So it's an A size transfer, so it's $9.99. It's our smallest transfer. It's five by seven. And it literally just has the three words on it. Um, but yeah, you just paint the books. Um, some people paint the pages of the book. Some people spray paint the page. You, I mean, you can do a book stack all you want. I made that live two and a half years ago. So I could always go back and try to find the video and show you the video. But yeah, it, it's it's old. Well, thank you, Miss Jessie. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's a fun. Those were really fun. I like the stacked books. Um, because, you, you know, you can put stuff on top of them. There's another one that I have upstairs in my living room that has that on it. And then... There's an old, old transfer that said, um, your life is your story, write well, edit often. And I put that on the top of the books because you can always also, you know, on the top part here, on the flat part, you can chalk up there too. I'm rambling again. All right, have a great weekend, everybody. I will be uh, back at you on Monday. S Saturday night's the only night I don't make a video. Um, so I'll be back at you on Sunday night and I hope you have a great weekend. Stay cool. It's very warm here in Wisconsin. Tomorrow is supposed to be, like, grueling, and we're going to be outside all day, so drink lots of fluids, peeps. All right, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See ya.